Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. We're gonna be playing this double sub, double scarf team. And yeah, in the previous episode we were <laughs> destroying destroying a stall player who <laughs> was was time stalling uh, at the end of the game. But so uh, yeah, let's see what we were going to face today. Uh, I think everyone already put in their their part. Maybe Hydreigon can do a bit more for us, but uh, yeah, Metagross has been pretty consistent. Suicune has done a lot for us. Uh, Garchomp, just uh, yeah, he's not really there <laughs> to be to be sweeping. Uh, and Galate has always been consistent as well in combination with Zapdos. So yeah, uh, yeah, guys, if you are interested in this team, I have a guide on this team on Patreon with a poker base for you to check out. Check out the link in the description for the team. And yeah, we have like five seconds on the timer. So uh, let's see how this goes. Smeargle, you never really see Smeargle in PvP. <laughs> Crafty, I do have a Galate this time, so that is not too worrisome. Um, I even have Focus Blast on my Hydreigon to hit it, so um, that's pretty good. He has a Quagsire, if, he's spe if it's Special Quagsire, then it could essentially stop my Hydreigon. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, Suicune looks really decent. If I kill Scrafty, I think. And his Dragonite is also really annoying. So uh, yeah, I really have to think about this. I'm gonna start. I'm still gonna start this off with my Metagross in this one. Um, if he leads Rotom, I'm gonna Toxic immediately. He actually goes for the Galate play. I'm really tempted to just attack here, but I think I'm just going to click Toxic. Um, if Rotom comes in, I can click uh, Stealth Rock afterwards. It is really unlikely that he goes immediately into the Gengar, because Toxic is not a move you commonly use. Wow, that did a lot, is he? He banned it. No, that's not banded. I would have done more if it was banded. That did a lot, man. Galate, you need to calm down. <laughs> okay, now I definitely need to keep Garchomp alive uh, to check the Dragonite. But I don't want to stay in there uh, to take another one. Um, I did get a poison on him, which can be nice for a Suicune later, because Galate could at least get a one attacking into my Suicune. But if I weaken him, it's going to be a bit easier. Um, I really do want Gengar to be gone, though, so that I can actually kill everything with Sacred Sword. I'm gonna double here into Metagross on the Quagsire, probably. I don't think he not. I don't think he knocks me out, so I'm gonna Stealth Rock first. And then I can follow up with a Toxic uh, to help my Zapdos in this kind of matchup. Oh, we're just clicking Toxic here. But I think Scrafty can 1v1 my Suicune, so um, that's insane. That is actually insane. Um, I'm at 48. If I live Shadow Ball... Because he's Black Sludge. If I live Shadow Ball, I'm clicking Heavy Slam right now. Yeah, I do live it. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. Um, I, I cannot get Cursed Bodied here, so... This is still pretty good for me. Because like I said, then I can spam Sacred Sword into his team, so... I'm definitely going for this. Yeah, it doesn't kill me. Perfect. Sacred Sword, it is. Especially with Rocks up, it's gonna be extremely nice. Hold up. Goes into this. I don't think Scrafty is that heavy, right? It's probably a bulk up one. Yeah, it's looking like a 2 hit KO here. I just need a free switch here. 
and he cannot drain punch recover on me because I have a rocky helmet and I'm uh, and I'm low HP. Okay, cool. Now I'm getting that free swap here. It'll be sleep talk. Not sleep talk on. Not sleep talk on. What is his, what is the name of his ability again? Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna say sacred sword here, and this also gives me a, a free sack on Metagross and whatever. The only thing he can bring in is Dragonite, but sacred sword ignores the bulk up. And if so, if I kill this, I can win this game with Suicune. Uh, unless Quagsire is water absorb, which is really unlikely. Dragonite is the only thing that can come in, because I'm pretty sure I 2 would KO Galate. Well, Galate might even die. Considering I have Stealth Rock up and he's poisoned. He does end up switching here. Goes into Quagsire. This might be a 2 with KO. With the Stealth Rock. Yeah. I will just click it again. And I can sec Metagross on Dragonite. And then I have a Scarf Garchomp to hit Dragonite with Dragon Claw. Well, I don't want... I'm gonna go hard into Hydreigon there. I don't want to risk my Gallade when his Scrafty is still alive. So I don't mind being burned on this. And I, I, would, I would just fire off a Dragon Pulse, because... With that Dragon Pulse damage, I might be able to knock this out uh, with my uh, Gallade clicking Sacred Sword later. Because he's gonna Volt Switch and I don't think it makes sense for me to Nasty Plot up. Maybe I could have clicked Substitute instead, but he could also just go into Scrafty. Really good chance that this is Scarf. We, we keep guard we keep guard jump in the back i want to keep metagross as a sack so that i get that freeze switch in because i i might not get a good sack into dragonite otherwise let's say i try to sack zapdos then he can dragon dance again and then guard jump is suddenly not faster but with metagross he can only get up one dragon dance and then he cannot dragon dance anymore because i die and then get the free swap and i need galato of course to attack him um, i could go zapdos but with the rocks up it's looking quite iffy. So I think it's better to just uh, attack him here and let this die. Now I get this in. And I should be slower than him. So I can Volt Switch. I still have my Garchomp, which is faster than him. And if he Sacred Swords me, I can even use this as a sack. So then I can sack something else versus the Scrafty. Two rocks. To get in my Galate and click Sacred Sword. And he goes Scrafty, exactly. Like, there was no point of me clicking Roost there. Because then I'll be in this situation. And he could wake, he could wake up now. However, because I think he already burned two. Or this is going to be his second turn. But he can still wake up from his ability. Which is not happening. So now I click Sacred Sword again. And he does decide to bring in Dragonite. And this is exactly what I meant. 42 is a lot of damage there. Uh, he, could, he could be banded. I don't see an item. So I will still make the sec. Into my Metagross. Not risking my Gallade here. Dies to forfeit, because if I sack Metagross, then I can go Garchomp. Rotom is gonna get two hit KO by, by Dragon Claw. Galade is gonna die to Dragon Claw, so only Scrafty can come in in that position. So uh, yeah, I think we are, we set up the we set up the win condition uh, perfectly there. And I even had my Suicune, uh, considering his Dragonite was already that low. If he switched out, but I, I really think I. I needed to get rid of Scrafty. Because if it's bulk up Drain Punch, he can essentially 1v1 me. 
You get one if you want my Suicune. Because most of them are especially defensive. And Mikal mining up doesn't mean much for his damage because he can just drain punch on my physical side. Which I'm not boosting and then uh, yeah, recover a lot of HP back. That's why I was so adamant on keeping my Gallade. Because I could have 2 hit Kyoto Dragonite there. But if he did extreme speed into me and if he was banded he maybe could have crit me. Since we saw didn't see leftovers. But I would always make that play because uh, there's basically no counterplay there. Because if he switches out, he comes back in on rocks and then he cannot switch into dra uh, to Gallade anymore. And if he Dragon Dances, my Metagross dies, I get in my Garchomp. And just click Dragon Claw and he has no resistance to it. So overall, that was pretty decent. <laughs> Let's see what we'll find now. Yeah, I think the, the hardest decision that game was... Um, Sacrificing the Hydreigon. But right here, we see a Lucario Tyranitar. Chandelier on that team as well. I have no switch in for Chandelier. But that's looking a bit dangerous. But I do like my Suicune in this game. It really depends though. It really depends. He has no he has Lucario as a toxic community. I have a Hydreigon, so <laughs> I guess that's pretty that's pretty okay. Um Let me still do the Garchomp bleed. Like I said, I have Hydreigon. It is also unlikely that he's going to switch into um Lucario here. And we trade burn for for, for poison. Hopefully I connect. Okay, thank you. Because poisoning this is awesome for Suicune, because now I can sub-protect all this while boosting myself up later. So that's pretty nice. I will Stealth Rock here, because this is probably looking like a Defugger. I will just spam Stealth Rock at this point. I don't want him Defugging. I want to keep up rocks. The poison is going to do its thing. Okay. Cool. We kept up rocks. I know we can defog later. But had he killed me, I could have gone Hydreigon. And I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Because um, I do have Garchomp in the back. And I have a Lucario. Uh, I'm gonna. Go uh, I, I have. I have a Zapdos. Because most of the times these are Life Warp. And I do force the switch in there, so that's pretty cool. 5.3. That, that sounds like a lot. That might be an offensive Tyranitar. I still have the XP share on this guy. Oh my god, bro. I still have the XP share. Okay, he went for Pursuit though. I'm gonna go for Game Air. If he goes for Defog against me, I essentially will get two Call Mines. And then uh, Zapdos cannot break my sub anymore. I will protect here though, just to do more damage to this Rotom. So stupid. Because that Leftovers recovery would have been really helpful.
So we're gonna call mine up. There is a chance that he doesn't break the sub. Let's see it. They're gonna break the sub. He does break the sub, okay, but I'm at plus one, so uh, not too bad, I think. Goes into Garchomp. If he sets up, is that scary? He's leftovers. Protect anyway. Oh, I just hope it isn't Home Claw. Okay, it's toxic. Then I think I can PP stall this. Dragon Claw. Okay, I cannot PP stall this. Probably a stalled rock. Can I win this game with Suicune? I'm gonna Scald there. Trying to get the burn on him. That would be nice. We don't get the burn. If I can get the burn on him, that it's gonna be really helpful. Um, I'm gonna keep scalding because this is also a switch in to uh, the other guy. And now he already got up rocks versus me. I'm gonna protect here. I'm not gonna sub because he could dragon claw on me. If I saw that though, that would have been amazing. But I'm s trying to keep Suicune as healthy as possible. Got a crit there, I think. No burns though. No burns. But I think it's okay. Uh, we essentially get rid of this guy. That's one si less sacred sword I have to click now. Because he has no switch in for me. He has no switch in for me. I, I, I'm going to lose my Suicune. But he has no switch in. <laughs> he's he's going to swap out. Oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. I'm still surprised that I'm not able to get... <laughs> I'm, sc I'm scalding again in case he does an extreme sweep. Maybe he's adamant, you know? I'm still su I'm still surprised, though. Let's do this. And let's just claw. He's left over, so I'm not losing too much HP from this. But Lucar is already really low. He's, he's, he's not even rough skin. So Tyranitar is still in the way. I also don't think any of my guys need to switch out versus Lucario. So I can see he's... Maybe he's gonna hit HP Ice or Hurricane me or something. I will just go into Metagross. Uh, perhaps he's gonna Defog. And that's possible too. Just Roosts. But I have Rocks up. I need Tyranitar gone so I can start clicking Psycho Cut against him. However, now I'll bring in this and I'm going to use Substitute in his face. Nice. Now, because now I get the nasty plot up. I don't think he dies to Dragon Pulse, but I might be wrong. If he dies to Dragon Pulse, it's better to attack him, I think. Twenty-seven to eight. Let's do Scrafty. There's this Rodom. 
I cannot type, guys. <laughs> Dragon Pearls. 42 min. Because I don't need to be at plus 2. Because I already ki killed Lucario. This is an amazing turn. And I have a chance to hit Focus Blast. Uh, what would be better? Focus Blast here or just Dragon Pulse and put him in Dragon Claw range? Nah, nah, nah. We're hitting. We're hitting. We're hitting. Good job. Good job, Hydreigon. Because now I just Dark Pulse everything. Uh, Dragon Pulse everything. So he can break my sub with Lucario's Extreme Speed. The uh, reason I'm not nasty plotting is he can do it two times. And with this amount of HP, I should be outside of range of Hidden Power Ice from Chandelure. However, in this position, I already spam... Um, I already spam Psycho Cut against him. And I kind of want to keep this guy. I kind of want to keep this guy, so I'm actually going to go zap those. Okay. Gave me a choice Garf, interesting. And he got my he got my XP share. Unfortunately, you guys weren't able to see it. <laughs> I mean, he got my XP share. I'm just going to Volt Switch here. And I'll go Garchomp. I like Gallade attacking into Zapdos. I, I like a Dragon attacking into Zapdos. So I, I'll just click Claw here. Now let's see what kind of uh, Zapdos uh, this is. What is that thing? Anyway, let me uh, claw him. So he's it's a bold one. Rocky Helmet. Oh, I wish he hit that Hurricane, guys. I wish he hit that Hurricane. Because then I would kill him with Dragon Pulse. It is what it is, guys. I think we should still be good. I could have actually uh, stone edged. <laughs> I still live a stealth rock turn, actually. Yeah, I should. I should go for. Should go for stone edge. However, what I can do here is go into my Zapdos first. I should live stealth rock just by a bit. We already took. We already taken a few of his roosts, but I. I should have spammed stone edge. But if if he's bold, he's gonna live stone edge anyway. Let's see if we're faster. We might be. Yeah, exactly. I have to keep in mind that I'm still choice scarfed. Oh yeah, because I'm choice scarfed. It's just a matter of getting Hydreigon in. That's it. Let's uh, do Garchomp. It doesn't really matter if Garchomp dies, but I should I shouldn't have let Garchomp get this low. He needs to hit Hurricane as well. Because what I can do here is just follow up with Stone Edge. Because he's going to lose Roost PP. 
He's gonna lose Bruce PP as well. Like, I'm fine with this. Taking all his... Taking all his shit. I don't want to trick him with a choice carve. Because he can, he can then potentially win with spamming Hurricane. I miss. Please click Roost. Damn. <laughs> well, I always get unlucky on those, but... Um, I, I think we set, already set up for the most. My dragon should also not die. So we can just pulse there. He's really good at hitting those, though. At the crucial moments, don't confuse me. Okay. Yeah, and I'm just... Keep, I'll just keep spamming here. Yeah, we win. Because we were already getting all his roosts. So I still have my Galate in the back. I was thinking about tricking him. <laughs> I was actually thinking about tricking him. Um... Because I have a Zapdos, but then he, then I actually give him an opportunity to win uh, trolling like that. So I, I don't think we should do it. But yeah, um, that game went um, pretty was pretty interesting. Like he was able to get the Toxic on my Garchomp, which was good for him. But I was able to remove his Garchomp, which was helpful. And yeah, bold bold, Zap, bold Zapdos could deal with Scarf Garchomp if it's not switching into a Stone Edge. But imagine guys, I hit, I hit the Stone Edge, he misses Hurricane, because otherwise he he would have probably killed me. He would have killed me with Hurricane and then I would have been able to get in High Dragon, just click Dragon Pulse. And then I missed this I missed the Stone Edge on the turn he clicks Hurricane. Which would have been amazing because otherwise I would have got it gotten in my High Dragon as well. It is what it is with the smooth. Yeah, we're running Stone Edge on Garchomp. We're run running Focus Blast on Hydreigon. So uh, hitting, hitting or missing those moves is definitely, definitely troublesome. <laughs> Clicking those moves, but um, yeah, overall, Hydreigon hasn't really been letting us down yet. Yes, he has been hitting all the Focus Blasts, uh, and Garchomp. We cannot expect Garchomp to hit every Stone Edge. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the timestamps down below uh, what your favorite moment of this video was as well. And yeah, um, if you guys are interested in this team and in all my other teams, you can check them out on Patreon. I usually have a guide on the team on Patreon with a poker base uh, if you guys want to try out the team or get some inspiration or try something div uh, similar. And yeah, if you join our Discord server, you can... Uh, join the community and chat it up with us and uh, just to discuss Pokemon or PvP or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe as well. I'm on my way to 6.4k subscribers, on our way to six and a half, like 6,500 subscribers, guys. So uh, hopefully we can hit that soon. Definitely with your help, share this video, guys, like it, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.